this morning a tick fall on the uh, kayak water trail. I've been wanting to do this for years. And, oh man. Oh, man. Didn't want to do this for a long time and never got around to it. So today we're gonna to see what's up. Mm. Beautiful day. Beautiful morning. This looks shoe picky. <laughs> they did a good job at clean, cleaning this place up because Hurricane Ida dropped a bunch of trees in here. A bunch of trees in here. I don't know, it kind of looks like they dredged it out a little bit. It's at least it's at least two or three feet back here. pretty back up in here. I was saying this looks shoe picky back up in here, bro. You might be able to catch a shoe pick. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's all kind of sunken trees and... You know what, I was talking about the Tickfall River is deep enough. And this ain't Tickfall River, this is just a little... This is just a little, their little canal, their canoe trail. This will open up into a bigger place. <clears throat> I had the hardest time, but just keeping my musky dimes alive. Oh, with the drought? Yeah. Yeah, if it would ever freaking rain, bro. Yeah. 
they still got leaves on them. Well, like they're still alive. But... Oh wow, man. Check out the moon. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's what I'm thinking. I figure even if we don't catch a lot of fish, we can just come chill. Stay here. Stay here and protect it. Not near one mosquito. <laughs> Should be good. Well, that it's warm up a little bit. No, uh, good for fishing. Well, can't have it both ways. It'll still be it'll still be cool enough in the mornings. They won't be out. Still gonna be in the 50s in the morning. <clears throat> I figure I figure it's cold enough we wouldn't see no gators. See, I drove. Um, we drove to Lafayette for Reaver to go play in the Bill Lap Thursday. Yeah. And I was looking along the Henderson. Yeah. Oh yeah, that place is loaded. I mean, I mean, it is loaded. They got some big ones. Yeah, they got some big ones. They got some big ones in there. I've seen some. I've seen some in there as long as my kayak. Oh, the sun feels good. <laughs> I wish they'd hurry up and I email Brent. Then they won't even. They won't never email me back. <clears throat> I was find, trying to find out when Bayou Fontaine's gonna open again. I used to catch all kinds of fish in there. I caught sackle, bass, catfish, bluegill. I saw one guy, he, uh, and I, I recognized the spot because I've been there so many times. But uh, that dude sat there and caught like a dozen sackle, bro. I mean, it's like, huh? It's by that drain. Yeah, the right. And I, I fished by that drain many a time, bro. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I knew that place had sackle, bro. I knew it because it just looked sackle. Yeah, you were fishing with a, uh, just a big hole. Yeah. I was like, I was, I was, I was, I thought, I was like, I hope that dude ain't keeping those and eating them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> gross. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't eat anything. Like uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> to each his own. Yet again, I know people, I know people who eat catfish out of the Mississippi River. I mean, I, I'd eat them up north, but not down here by the plant. No, you gotta go further. Yeah, it just seems like a bad idea, but man, it's pretty back here. Well, the water's coming in. Well, the water's going that way. Must be getting close to the water. 
that a deer snorting or is that a bird? Let's say that's a big ass deer if it is one snorting. Yeah, when I meant to, when I meant to use the pedal drive, I didn't mean up in here. I mean in the main river. I'm I'm actually surprised it's this clear. They did a good job. That sounds like a mountain lion. What? That. That or a big deer. A big buck snorting at us. I got some big bobcats. That, yeah, that, that sounds like what it is. That's what it is, it's a bobcat. I see some big ones in Greensburg. Big ones in Greensburg. Matt! Matt the shoe pick man, he's got a shoe pick. This thing's about 15 pounds too. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Matt the shoe pick man loves him some shoe pick y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see how big he is, bro. That's all funny shit. Shut up, Terry. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that monster. <laughs> yeah, he's a monster. Shit. Look at, look at, I know the sun's right in your way. Y'all can't see him, but this Matt stud hooked into like a monster shoe pick. That is a big ass shoe pick. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's a monster, bro. <laughs> Jeez, 10 or 15 pounds. I'm an ultralight. Look at that two-pack you got. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta take a bath now. Oh. Give you some pliers. 10 or 15 pound damn shoe pick. Like, boy, quit playing with that shoe pick. <laughs> on a beetle spin on an ultralight rod. Leave it to Matt. Get my pliers out. Leave it to Matt. Well, now I know what was hitting. Not necessarily. That don't look like shoe pick. Oh, shit, shit, shit. He went on a run. That looks sackily. This area right up in here? Yeah. She'll be some bass up in here. Yeah. Woodpeckers everywhere. Skinny up here. Okay. We gotta still be on the trail, bro. This ain't, this ain't big. This ain't big and wide enough to be the tick fall. I think this is a pitfall right here. Pitfall, state park access. Yeah, okay, this is a pitfall. All right. Yeah, here we go. Look, this fish slapping the water over there. Slapping the 
Man, it's a shoe pick, man. Oh, yeah, this is nice. God, I love Louisiana. Oh yeah, deep water out here. Deep for bayou water. Oh yeah. Uh oh, I got a fish. <laughs> oh, a bluegill. Oh man. Oh man, a bluegill. Yeah. Matt catches the shoe pick and I catch the bluegill. Well, man, you, you know that shit was fun, hush. Oh, damn, I lost him. Somehow that's Matt's fault. I don't, I'm not quite sure, but. Oh, the best there is. Beautiful back up in here. Beautiful back up in here. Reminds me of Bayou Fontaine a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, it does. This place got a lot of blue Oh, the San Juan worm got him. Oh, it's a little pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. Those are, those are pretty little fish, man. I was going to get me an aquarium and catch me a couple of them, and I got told no. Old Crocodile Dundee. That's, a shit, man. That's the second little long ear sunfish I caught. San Juan worm, man. They can't, they just gets their gills a quivering. Boy, I bet you can come back back up here in the summertime with a with a topwater popper and just pee lay him. Yeah, not a bad size bluegill. Not a bad size bluegill. I called him uh, farting on my paddle. <laughs> oh, sinuses, you gotta love them. But you can sit here with a with a uh, a good ride and a in a bottom a bottom bait and just catch shoe pick all day long.
bring me an electric knife and do a camping cook and shoe pick. Clean them right there, batter them up with some, some breadcrumbs. Shit. Fry that up, put in a packet of brown gravy. Man, you slap your mama good. Good little row. My arm's actually getting tired. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. I had I just had a shoe pick ram my boat. You heard me? That's the first. I ain't never been. I never had a shoe pick attack my boat. I think he was just trying to get away. I think this is it. Yeah. Well, this has been fun. This has been a really fun paddle. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Hope y'all enjoyed the trip. Cause it was fun. All right, well, it's been a good trip. <laughs>